sis, you trying to hide all that long hair underneath your wig? I am too, so we about to figure it out together. I haven't worn a wig, it's been over a month. And I just been letting my hair breathe. And if you don't know, I just recently dyed my hair blonde. So I've just been trying to let it breathe, right? But it's about that time that I got to tap into my different personality. So I'm going to need a different wig, right? I need a new hairstyle because, you know, I've been doing a whole little natural thing for a little while. But I'm not jacking that no more. I need a bad, I need to tap into my bad B, all right? It's time to pack up this hair and get a new hairstyle. My hair is really, really thick. I just want to let y'all know some details on my hair. If you want to talk about the thickness and let's compare it to a wig, I probably, the density in my hair would probably be like 300%. And my hair is like about 25, 26 inches long. So you guys have an idea of um, the hair that I'm working with and then you could use that to com compare it to your hair. That way you know more or less if this video will work for you or not. So, we're gonna jump into the voiceover now. So, first things first, we're gonna get this hair oiled. So, because I plan on keeping these braids in for a couple days, I just put some oil and some treatment for my scalp. Just like that, my scalp and everything is moisturized. You do wanna make sure your scalp is moisturized underneath your braids of your wig and all of that. So because I do have long straight hair, my method was pretty much to do four braids in my hair. So I start off with the first braid being in the front to the side. And I just go ahead and braid all the way down. And in order to seal the braid, I use a rubber band at the end of my hair. Then I go in and pretty much just braid around all of my hair. I am using some gel. You can pretty much use any gel of your liking. Um, and when I say gel, I'm referring to styling gel, hair styling gel. So you can use any one that you feel like will hold your hair pretty good and will have a strong hold. Or you can also use hairspray. You may have to use a blow dryer to hurry up and dry the hairspray, but you'll pretty much get the same effect. So once you have your braids, this is how it will look. Y'all, my hair looks so cool with these braids and it looks so long, y'all. My hair is getting really, really long. So now this is the first time I actually tried this method and basically I'm just stitching my braids my hair has gotten longer so now i have to find a new way on how to hide my hair underneath the wig so this is kind of what i um came up with basically i just put the braids i cross them over one another and then i just start stitching please keep in mind that i had no idea what the back of my head looked like as i was stitching i kind of was just going along and freestyling that's why it kind of looks a mess because it was not like you know planned properly and I didn't have a mirror so I couldn't even really see but as long as your braids are stitched up it obviously doesn't matter too much how neat it is just as long as you're able to get your hair up and the braids are more sewn to the lower part of your head versus the middle and top so as y'all see, I just made sure I tucked my baby hairs away by using an edge brush and some gel. Now I'm going in with the regular wig cap method. Even though I am doing a glueless wig install, I decided to use the wig cap method just because for me personally, I love the effect it has on the final look of the hair. So. I like to have my wig cap really blended into my skin to make it look like scalp. So I just feel like if you wear a regular wig cap without hairspraying it down, you'll be able to see where the wig cap starts and where your forehead finishes. So just because of that, I did the, you know, hairspray wig cap method. And um, yeah. I am really excited. This was my first time doing a glueless wig on myself. So I just pretty much still went through with the same steps as I would have a regular glued wig install. 
I'm here with some foundation, putting it on the wig cap just to give the illusion of me having a bald head. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to use my beauty blender. This is an old beauty blender that I used to use for makeup. And because it got so old and dirty, I used it for my wig cap. Now, most people may ask, hey, why you don't use a brush? Why you don't use powder? So, me personally, I just like the thickness the thicker coverage of a liquid foundation and then using the beauty blender i feel like the beauty blender helps to move the product while still keeping it thick onto the wig cap so with powder i feel like for me because my hair is dark and then it's also two-tone meaning black and blonde i don't see how a powder would have that much coverage on my hair so for that reason, I like to use the liquid foundation. It's just thicker. It gets the job done. And it really makes my wig installs look flawless and seamless just because, you know, it looks melted. It literally looks like scalp. So I be looking like a ball hit it. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so that's why I use my foundation. And then, you know, just go with your old little beauty blender. So then, once I do this, we're going to move on to the wig. So, I just want to tell y'all, this wig that I got, I absolutely loved. It was so easy to customize. I didn't even have to do much to it, y'all. I didn't even have to cut the extra lace off the wig. This wig is designed to be a glueless wig. It is a lace closure wig and all the information on the wig that i will be using in this video will be in the description down below so make sure you guys are checking the links down below go drop down look at my bio check it out the wig is there and there is a discount code so make sure you're reading the caption to get that discount code and now the wig, let's talk about the wig. The wig is giving mamacita, nice to meet ya. You know what I'm saying? So the only customizing that I really had to do to this wig was I bleached the knots. I bleached the knots for about 30 minutes just using a regular 40 developer with some bleaching powder. And, of course, making the consistency thick so like that it doesn't seep through. Now, I went in and I really wanted to comb out these curls and really see what is, what are we working with. You know, I wanted to get into the hair and I wanted to play with it. So, I'm going in with my favorite mousse. This is the Nairobi Styling Mousse. And y'all, as you can see, the curls are already given what they're supposed to. So, I recommend that whenever you get a wig out of the package, you need to wash it and you need to brush out the curls and add some products. This way, you are fully seeing the full texture, full effect, full curl pattern of the unit you have purchased. Now, please don't mind the ghetto nest with the water in the Poland Spring bottle. <laughs> Y'all, I need to invest in a water spray bottle because I don't have one. But long story short, you gotta wet the hair, okay? Do not buy a wig and just think the texture that is coming straight out the package is the texture that the wig is. No, you got to get in. You got to wet the hair. You got to curl it, add some mousse to it, and boom, you're going to get the curls that it's supposed to get. So, as y'all can see, I'm pretty much just going around the whole wig and I'm getting these curls right. I'm getting the wig some product. I love using a wax Thick. the purpose of the wax stick is to really slick down the hair sometimes when we get a wig it's a little puffy y'all this wig is so freaking cute oh my god it's gorgeous so the wax stick just helps to make the hair strands look like they're literally laid down to your scalp and coming out of your scalp so this is the inside of the wig as y'all can see it is completely glueless it is a lace closure which means we don't have that much space that we're working with so that just means that this wig is going to be easy, put on, and take off. So with that being said, it is exactly what I said. 
it's on now and I'm just going in with a hot comb and I really like to make my wigs look like they're coming out my scalp so how I do that is I be taking my wax stick and my hot comb and I be pressing down the root of the hair in the front of the wig and I do that because it literally gives the illusion like as if you know it's coming out of my scalp so this is the final look and y'all when I tell you to put the wig on it literally took like two minutes I think I spent more time styling the hair like wetting it up with some mousse and water than I did actually putting it on y'all so if you are looking for a quick and easy style where you gotta hurry up put on and go this is the girl for you so with that being said I love y'all and I will see you in my next one bye